All right, we get another look at the budding lightweight contender out of Poland, Mataj Gamrot. This guy's the total package, stepped up for the Jalen Turner fight. This guy really can do it all, and he's out to prove as much here again tonight. And he tells you how he's going to do it. He tells you that you can't stop him from taking it out. And he's going to pressure you. And he's going to put pace on you. And he's going to be in your face from the very start. Gamrot is one of those guys that really does pop off the page whenever you see him because you know he is going to stop at nothing to impose his will on his opponent. No man has been able to finish Mataj Gamrot in nearly 25 professional fights. That is a trend. He hopes to continue here tonight. This is a lightweight eliminator. We'll see how it goes for Poland's Mataj Gamrot. Well, if you like high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, perhaps this fight will be the one for you. You got to think his opponent is mindful of all the skills that he has in that area. Yeah, I mean, you have to be. If you are not aware of the danger of grappling this man, you are doing yourself a disservice. You got to take note of what he does. He's so good on the ground. He's so comfortable on the ground that if you are there and you lose focus for one second, you're done. He's a high-level grappler, a guy that has a ton of accolades in jiu-jitsu, and you recognize it the moment he steps into the octagon. Yeah, a lot of different submissions on his resume, and going to be interesting to see how the opposition tries to handle this appreciable challenge in front of him tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Mateusz Gamerot! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Benil Dariusz! Herb Dean, our referee Here's for this one. Ready. Good. Our round getting underway. A lot of eyeballs on Benil Daryush as he gets back on the proven ground here tonight. And not out of the realm of possibility that this man would have already competed for the title if he didn't have that devastating leg injury. But that is neither here nor there. He's not looking in the past, only at the future. And that is this matchup tonight. And he believes even though he could argue he is at a striking disadvantage, he is not going to force the ground game in this matchup tonight. Was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, he's got it locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Daryush is back into full guard. Big ground and pound. Gamrot's in half guard. Getting the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Gamera. Keep moving, keep moving. 
If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. In the half guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Gamera. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Daryush getting work here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Nice shots landing from the top position. Beautiful transition. Gamrock's in half guard now. Oh, right into Mount. Well, that combination's gonna leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Gamrock. 10 seconds now in round one. Come that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his Ready approach fight. in that ground and pound Ready. sequence. Good. Second round underway. You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. Oh, man, that was slick. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out or guys start to attack triangles. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Mm, nice. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Daryush is back in full guard now. Oh, good defense, yes. Gamrot's in half goal. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, side control now. Gamrot's back in full now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Man, oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Gamera. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Gamrot's in half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Nicely done. Daryush is back in full guard. Setting up a submission attempt. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These 
these guys are stop, back stop, and stop. forth in submission defense wins this transition. All right, listen to me, buddy. Breathe, relax. I need you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. The only reason you're getting... All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Big power shot there. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. He's hurt. He's hurt. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He passed the half guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Daryush. Change of the position. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hand. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Gamrot's in half guard. Oh, going for a leg lock. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Submission instead, right back to his feet. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. All right, close guard now. He passes the half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Daryush. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Daryush is in half guard now. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit arm right Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. This is a terrible position. Mm, that was nice. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Gamera. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. You need to fight that. All right, side control now, DC. Oh. You know he's in his element oh. on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Doryush. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's got the hands going. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Gamrock gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall. Daryush is trying to lock up on a submission now. 
Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. defense not panicking in a position that is very very difficult to deal with good work from the top here by Gamera beautiful right ground and pound and it looks like he has a cut now oh another ground strike gets through Gamrot's back inside control here Neon Belly, pushes up, Neon Belly, he's raining down Brown and Pound. He has to move or the fight is gonna get stopped. There it is, now he's going to mount. Under two minutes to go. Yep, gotta be very careful there. Beautiful Brown and Pound approach, and now his opponent is starting to swell. Oh, big elbow. Right back, right back. Oh, heavy Herb Dean oh. Holy smokes! What a fight! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 27 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mateusz Gamer Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need your scorecards.